Crash and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to discuss Once We're Warriors. This is back, I believe, from 1994. And it is based off the novel by Alan Duff, if memory serves, of the same name. If I'm not mistaken too, there's a follow-up. There was another movie released after this one a little while later uh, to do with Jake having to deal with sort of losing everything as the result of his uh, completely inappropriate behavior towards his wife and kids. So essentially what this is, this is a story of uh, a family of uh, Polynesian people who have been living the, the generations and generations of their family and their people coming from New Zealand where this movie takes place. They've lived there forever and essentially what this is, is this is just a mid-90s take on um, poverty, alcoholism, drug abuse, rape, uh, domestic violence, and uh, it's done with that same sort of mid-90s heartlessness that uh, was prevalent in cinema at this point. Now, when I say heartlessness, I don't mean that the movie is approached from uh, a heartless place necessarily. It's just, it's, this movie's very cold. I really like the opening credits. They're a lot of fun. It almost um, sort of sets you up thinking that this movie is going to be something other than what it turns out to be. And what this movie turns out to be is incredibly violent and incredibly sad, tragic, and incredibly downbeat. There's not a lot of fun in this movie, despite how I will argue that the filming, the way this movie shot, it sort of feels like a music video. It's uh, really inviting, it's fairly colorful, and the acting is absolutely incredible. So I believe Jake's family and how they, they're left to sort of their own devices because even though he's recently lost his job, he doesn't really give a fuck because he's just gonna kick back on unemployment. And he will come home drunk every night, neglecting his kids and occasionally beating the shit slash raping his wife when he gets really angry. And she's sort of stuck in this cycle of abuse and forgiveness because after the one scene where he beats the shit out of her and the, his kids are hiding in their bedrooms and he tosses her on the bed and he takes his shirt off where it is assumed that he rapes her, it's, she's angry at him for the next, what I think is the next few days, but then he kind of turns back into like the softer, more gentle Jake that she fell in love with like 17, 18 years ago. And you can see like a smile starting to break through again and she's starting to soften. So you know this sort of cycle of abuse and forgiveness, it has been going on for the better part of two decades. Um, what happens too, inevitably one of his scumbag friends ends up raping his 13 year old daughter. At first when I saw his daughter, I thought she was like 17 or 18, but it is later revealed that she's only 13. That piece of shit rapes her. So that's the kind of movie this is. Whereas the rape uh, of his daughter is a little more graphic. It still isn't overbearingly so. This isn't charting into like irreversible territory, but it's still nonetheless, it's completely fucked up. And as the result of the rape, she falls into like a deep depression and she tries to reach out for help. But of course her family is so scattered and so broken and Everybody thinks that she's upset about A when actually it's B and nobody's really sort of connecting the dots here because everybody has their own trauma to deal with as the result of uh, Jake's handling of the family. And she inevitably um, decides to hang herself and she does and she's gone and um, it's revealed that of course it was one of her father's scumbag friends and the movie concludes with him castrating him in pretty much beating him to death in a bar as the wife, his wife and uh, her son say like, we've had enough of you. I've been with you for almost two decades. You're a piece of shit. That's it. I'm cutting all ties with you. Goodbye. And it ends with him yelling and screaming in the parking lot of the bar after his family leaves. And it's funny. It's like I said, this movie kind of feels like a music video for the most part. And it, it it's like you keep waiting for the fun to start, but it doesn't really, because Jake is an absolute nightmare. And I think too, deep down inside, he's, he's probably a decent person. 
who just doesn't give a fuck and he just sort of lets his temper and his urges run wild and he's always seeming to victimize people who are far weaker than him, at least physically speaking. So he's a piece of shit, but at the same time, there was something about him that I liked. And I think that that was because probably at the end of the day, he wasn't that bad of a guy. He just, well, no, he was that bad of a guy. Just, I think somewhere deep down inside, he wasn't maybe that bad, but he was a complete and total piece of shit because I did like him and I liked his wife and I liked his kids. I liked everybody in this movie. And I think that's more of a testament to the acting and the directing. So there's a lot of good to be said about this movie, but at the same time, given that it's, a, it's focused around domestic violence, sex assault, this movie isn't gonna be for everybody. I will again say I really liked how the movie was shot. It, it feels very mid 90s. The opening credits were incredible. And I did like the music video vibe that I got from the film. But other than that, this is a tough one to watch. I think I'll leave it there. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little over six minutes while I discussed 1994's Once Were Warriors. If you liked this review or whatever it was, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. I'll talk to you soon. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.